Look right there on the top. I gotta get over there to it. There's the original Mad Max. It finally gave up. Here's the seats out of it. I had to literally cut these seats out of the back of that van because they were so corroded up. Rusted completely shut with soda pops and all mm. kinds of junk. Ugh. Okay, folks. I can't hold camera and do this at the same time. From a junk pile. This came from another wheelchair. And uh, it's been sitting outside for a while. I just did a little spot cleaning on it. But you know, this one had a cover over it and the cover just finally rotted off of it. And uh, it's got that patina. And what goes well with rat rods? <laughs> patina. Even distressed, crippled people leather. I'm sure this had a cover on it. Whoever was in it probably pissed and shit all over it. And, and I know it's been sitting outside for over a year now, back here in the junk pile. But man, it's got so much hardware on it. There's gotta be 30 pounds of iron Here, let's check out and see if there's any wood rot. They use pretty well solid wood for this. I think it's mahogany. I mean, it is really, really hard. I had one of the chair wheels finally rot out on the corner because it got soft. And uh, it seems like we may have some going on right here. But again, this is going to be a temporary seat because. I have something totally else in mind. I'm looking for a, an old racing seat. That's what I really want because, man, they cut the weight it completely in half. These things are still got some weight to it. But uh, let's keep stripping. And you know what? have a use for this right here too, ladies and gentlemen. See that little piece of metal? There's a future trailer hitch right there. Man, would you look at the size difference? Oh, big difference in size. And ain't bucket seats just totally badass in rat rods. Here's another reason why I like this seat. Check it out. When I go balling around the old folks home, I'll be able to kick back and get that swag on, you know what I mean? Yep, time to clean. Ugh. I got a lot of scrubbing to do. Do you want to listen to it? Nah. You want to watch it? Yeah, because y'all are all stalkers. Time lapse. Bleach and rinsed water and then bleach again and 
Well, I got it clean. Is it clean enough to eat off of? No, but it's clean enough to set my ass on. So, I want to hook up all the rigging off the other seat to this. I didn't even think about it, seeing if these bolt holes match up. Well, to be honest with you, I knew they'd match up because if you look, they're plenty adjustable. Pretty much all your mobility seats have multiple adjustments in them. I'm thinking mine need to be about right there. So we're gonna rig this bad boy up right there, okay? Let me bring my four pod over here, my quad pod. Y'all keep your eyes on this. Don't let it run off now. washers here so I have said the word fat quite often in this video um, if you are fat please don't take an offense to it I mean, it's just the truth and it's a word and I don't mean to offend anybody but if I do hurt your feelings fuck you Get over it. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. David's putting his seat back together. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Like everything else, I've eyeballed it. Anything I've cut, pretty much have been eyeballed. Oh, there we go, that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. I don't want to over tighten it if you get the nuts at the top. It is possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to see how this looks on the Rat Rover HD. So. Oh, oh yeah, this is a whole lot lighter than the big seat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what this bucket seat looks like on here. Who knew that in my junk pile back here I had the solution to what I was looking for? This don't look nothing like... This don't look nothing like the mobility scooter that was dropped off to me two weeks ago, does it? Holy shit. Oh man. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is way more comfortable than that bass boat seat I had on here for temporary purposes. Check it out. When I go fishing, oh, I don't want to put my boot prints all over that yet. I do have some decals coming, so that's going to be another quick video. But uh, I can't have me a rat roller and not have something stuck to it as far as a decal goes. But, uh, Again, like I said in the last video, I got more stuff I'm going to do to this thing, but it just takes money, and uh, I gotta wait. 
because uh, deer season starts in about 30 more days, well, 40 more days. So uh, that gets very expensive when you deer hunt in Texas. But you know what? Perfect timing. This time you're gonna get put to work right off the bat. Thanks for watching. I sure have enjoyed this. I can't tell you how many times I've been.